You want to have good flexibility, mobility and strength in your wrists because they need to be strong enough to withstand the volume of your training. Think about it. We do handstands, push-ups and L-sits that require you to have at least 19 degree wrist extension. Training your wrists comes down to stretching through their full range of motion and strengthening them to build strong connective tissue, ligaments and tendons for the forces you apply on them. Your wrist consists of many small bones and joints that allow your hand to move in multiple directions. The wrist can make flexion, extension, abduction and adduction. Before we go over this, I highly recommend stimulating the blood flow by warming up, so you don't start cold. You can do some wrist rolls, praying, or even what I like to do is to keep my wrist under some warm running water. Now we can start with the exercises. Stretching the flexors. Preferably use a soft mat so it's easier on your wrists. Start off with the palms of your hands flat on the ground while sitting on your knees. Keep your elbows straight and face them forward. You can slowly rock back and forward, hold the stretch for like 15 seconds or make small and slow circles. Try these in multiple positions so you can see what works best for yourself. It is important to do everything slowly and controlled, so you can feel where your weak points are and you don't injure yourself. Stretching the extensors. Keep the same body position, but now put the back of your hands on the ground and start the same motion. This can feel a little trickier than the last one, so start slowly and don't cross the limits of your wrist. Try different positions by putting your hands inward, sideways, or backward and feel what works for you. If you lean more to the front or to the back with your body, you can further lengthen the stretch if your wrists allow it. Stretching the abductors and adductors. I folded my mat a couple times to make a soft surface for my wrists, which you will need. Same as with the other exercises, you want to start slow, so start on your knees. When you progress in the exercise, you can increase the distance between your hands and your knees. If you're getting more and more comfortable, you can do it off your feet. Now we move on to the strength exercises. The wrist push-up is a great exercise to build some strength. When performing this exercise, it is important to push off through the front of your hands instead of just lifting your palms up. This exercise can be tough in the beginning, but it's no big deal if you can't push off that high yet. When it gets easier, you can increase the distance between your hands and your knees. This way you make the pushing off more challenging. The finger push-up. Only perform this exercise with perfect form to protect yourself from injury. In this push-up, you want to keep your fingers as straight as possible. In the beginning, you probably feel a great deal of pressure on your fingers. You can start off a kneeling position first to get used to the pressure and later progress to the feet. Quick tips and tricks. Practice these exercises daily, for example as a warming up. Preferably do these exercises on a soft mat. Start slowly and build it up. Give your body the time to adapt to these inputs. They can feel uncomfortable in the beginning, so feel where your limits are and respect them. If you want to know more about precisely performing exercises, make sure to subscribe to the channel because there are way more coming up. And if you have a request of an exercise, drop a comment below. And I see you guys in the next video. Peace!